Hello everyone, so welcome. Today we are going to be reviewing Spider-Man's final DLC called Silver Lining. But before we get into the intro part, I just want to let you know that I've got more things to review that I should have done by now. Stuff from like Aquaman or Wealth Breaks the Internet and more. So that should be coming soon and considering January seems to be a quiet month for films, we should be off to a good start. Anyway, here's the intro. Kill him! So first, apart from the story, what type of suits do we get? Well, we do get a armoured suit, we also get a cyborg Spider-Man suit and we also get a suit from the recent film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and it's basically just that it is. I will say though that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse suit it's basically one of my other favourites from the Wayne suits. Oh yeah, <laughs> as a free update or gift for Christmas we also got the Wayne suit we did, a most popular requested suit that people have been wanting for a very long time. So what about the story though? Well the story in this is that, well it's kind of in the name, Silver Lining, well basically means that Silver Sable must be back and she is back. And as well as that the reason why she's back is because she's wants to get all of her equipment back because Hammerhead has still got all of them. Now, you don't really get to see Hammerhead until later on in the story where his body is just basically changed. No longer a human body, instead he's got like robots and cyborg and stuff like that. He's just a big metal thing he is. Now, eventually you do have to end up teaming up with Silver Sable. Remember, she doesn't like you. But you do, and it's actually quite worth it because because both of you have teamed up you end up stopping Hammerhead and that's it. Now there is a side mission also including that MJ is in this but MJ eventually ends up leaving the city to go to Sokovia and also if you're wondering the status about Yuri well she was put on temporary leave she was but that wasn't enough because she is turned into a killer now. Now you don't really get to stop her, you get to solve out crimes, but for when Insomniac does do Spider-Man 2, I would really love to know how they're going to continue her story and if they're going to finish it or not, because I wonder how many Spider-Man video games are they going to actually make. So what do I give the silver lining? Well I know many people did not like Tower Frauds or even the Heist. But to be honest, I've enjoyed all of the content that has come from the Season Pass and I will totally say it has been worth it. Now, Silver Lining gets a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Honestly, I did quite enjoy it and with the Yuri missions, I felt motivated, like emotionally motivated to get those done because she's a friend but also now an enemy so I don't know it's just quite sad to see her go down this path thank you guys so much for watching and peace